Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to recover data from a formatted hard drive for free. Now, if you've got a USB flash drive, an external drive or a built in hard drive and you want to recover data from that drive, then I'm going to show you how to do it for free using a free piece of software. So you can see I've got a USB flash drive here and uh, there's a load of images on here and some uh, movies and stuff. So what I'm going to do is format this drive and show you uh, how powerful this software is to recover data. So I'm gonna right click here and format the drive. Let's give the drive uh, a different name so we can recognize it. Maybe call it something like uh, USB or something like that. So let's just go ahead and do that and click start and then click okay. And that will then format that drive for us. It's now gone. All the data is now gone on this drive. So what we're gonna do is go back and literally open up our website and download the software that we're going to use to recover data. Now, test disk is a very powerful piece of software that you can actually use to recover data. Now this software can literally do quite a lot. So take a look at it here. It can literally recover data from deleted partitions. It also works with many different operating systems like DOS, Windows 10, 8, 8.1, 7, Vista, XP, works with Mac OS X and also Linux and also Windows Server. So let's go ahead and download the software so we can show you how it works. It's very simple and easy to do. So there's a bunch of other operating systems it works with there as well. So we're gonna hit the download button on the left-hand side here, and this is where we can download the software. So let's go ahead and download the Windows 64-bit version because that's the version of Windows that we're using. But if you're using a different operating system here, then just choose it in the list here and download it. I'm going to go ahead and get this downloaded. So click on the Windows 64 bit in my case, and this should start to download and you'll see it drop down on the bottom left hand corner here. So once we've got that downloaded, it's only a quick download. And what we're going to do is extract this to a folder on our desktop. So I've got a folder here. I'm going to right click on this and extract all. And we'll leave it in the same directory here. So I'm going to extract and extract that. There we go. So there's our folder here with our software inside. I'm going to double click on this folder and go in here. And what we're looking for here is the executable part here, which is photorec underscore win.exe. That's the one we're going to be using in this one here. So just have a look down here. There it is. So I'm just going to double click on this one here. And this will open up a blue box. Click on more info and run anyway. And that should then run the program and a little prompt box will open up here. This is our program. So let's take a look. This is it here. So what we're looking for here is to select the media that we want to recover data from. So you can see there's it's picking up our hard drive, our NVMe drive, and it's also picking up our USB flash drive. So that's the one I'm going to select here and we're going to push proceed and enter here. So the disk must be correctly detected for successful data recovery. Now we can select uh, what we want here. So no partition, or we can select the actual USB flash drive. So I'm gonna select the whole disk here because I wanna select and scan the whole disk on this USB flash drive to try and recover as much information as possible. So next up, we've got file options here and we can click on file options by using the uh, arrows on your keyboard. And you can see here, there's a bunch of options available to you, which you can scan for. So depending on what you're actually looking for, you can remove a lot of these ticks if you don't want to scan for every file, or you can just leave them and run a scan for every single file here. You can see there's ext2 and there's also uh, fat. We're running NTFS on this uh, USB flash drive, so they're not ticked here. We can see HTTP cache here as well but they're not ticked but if i want to tick them i can put the crosses inside there you've got incredi mail you've got a bunch of other stuff which you can search for now you can literally just remove the ticks to all of this stuff so it will find photoshop files and other files like that as well if you've got other files on here and you can see the ticks being removed here or a little cross you could use your arrow keys to do that as well to remove whatever you don't want. I'm just going to leave that as is, and we're going to go back and then run a scan on here. So let's go back 
and then we can go to search. Now there is some options available as well, but I'm not gonna go into here. I'm just gonna leave this as it is by default and then go search here. Now it wants us to recover the files that PhotoRec needs to know the file system type. So we're gonna go for other here because we're not using ext2 or ext3. We're using either FAT, NTFS, uh, so that's what we're going to go for here. Once we do this, it's going to ask us to select our destination to save our recovered files to. So it'll say, do not choose to write files to the same partition that they're stored on. So obviously not to save the files to this drive that you are trying to recover data from. You don't want to do that. So we're already going to just select our folder that we've got on our desktop here which is where we've got the program and we'll save the data in there when it's recovered you can choose whatever you like to save your data to but we're just going to use this as an option here so here we go it's now going to start to uh, read the sectors on the drive and you can see there's quite a bit to go and it is already finding files here and it will tell you what files are being found so jpegs text files exe files and again, if you're not looking for certain types of files, you can discard those in your options list when you're uh, doing a scan. One movie has been recovered and also PNG files have been recovered. So you can select what you want to search for. I've just searched for just about everything on that drive. And we'll let this run and it does take a bit of time. So be patient. It does give you the estimated time for completion and the estimated time that's elapsed uh, since you started the scan. So I'll run this up. Uh, a little bit fast forwarded and you can see here now we've got 24 minutes the scan has been running for an estimated time for completion is now complete so it took around about 35 minutes to complete a full scan of our 120 odd gigabyte usb flash drive and it will then tell us how many files have been recovered on there as you can see here so it's just finishing off now and then it's going to tell us where our files have been stored so there you go, that's now finished. 1,130 files have been saved into our test disk folder called recup underscore dir directory. So we can now go there and find those folders and have a look in there and see what type of data has been recovered and see if it's recovered those files. So we can close that off now and go to that location. And we're going to go back here, inside here. And there is those at recup underscore dir dot one dot two dot three and if you look inside at the first folder you can see it's found a lot of png and also jpeg files and these are all the images that i lost or supposedly lost by formatting and it's recovered all those which was very quick and easy to do here you can see it's recovered every single one of them which is very handy let's go into the next folder here and have a look and see if it's found those movies i'm going to come all the way down here and there you go right down near the bottom here We've got MP4 files, so let's just click on one of these and see. And there you go. It's a screen capture I did the other day. It's recovered those, and it's now put those into that folder. So I've reclaimed all my data that I formatted and deleted and lost on this USB flash drive by using uh, that free piece of software called TestDisk. So very powerful indeed, and it's recovered all that stuff for free which would have saved you an absolute fortune if you went to a PC repair shop or a data recovery uh, specialist. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.